Good morning. Me and George have just been for an hour and a half walk. No longer. No less. An hour and a half mm. <laughs> walk. Um, <laughs> no longer. No less. No exactly the right amount of time. No, it's 40 minutes there and 40 minutes back, so. Yeah, 10 eight, minutes short of an hour. 80 minutes. <laughs> anyway, it's irrelevant. Me and George have just been for a walk. <laughs> We're moored at Maysby Marsh, and um, we last night pretty much got to the end of the navigable portion at Bridge 82. The Grodwin Bridge. Um, but so this morning, me and George walked beyond that. It looks like a certain amount has been restored already and watered and non-powered craft can go down there. And there, there is actually a CRT boat down there. Mm -hmm. So I guess you can go down there. Um, and then beyond that, you can see where they're doing the restoration. Um, it's pretty interesting. There's a piece that's been paved, but not filled with water. Then a bit that may have been dug out and cleared, but not paved. And then there's another restored bit where there's a winding hole of dreams. It's huge <laughs> and that's all paved. It's just really interesting to see like work as it's happening really. And guys were turning up for work this morning and yeah. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And they've, they've obviously aimed this at being a water sports friendly canal yeah. because at all of the visitor moorings yeah. and at every lock, there's like this big rubber sheet on the side with a sign that says basically canoe pull out. Yeah, don't moor there. Yeah. I said, when I first saw it, I said it was like, oh, there's rubber to stop the boat hitting. Yeah. <laughs> it's being set up as a recreational yeah. space while it's being rebuilt. Yeah, so. and that makes sense. And they're doing the triathlon today where you, um, I don't know how far the bike ride is, but the walk, I think is 10K or 10 miles. And then the kayak or canoe is from here to the end and actually just down here at the farm there's like all these canoes lined up ready yeah. and there were some people dropping their canoes off this morning right. and I looked because I read somewhere that's 260 or something competitors I was like there's not 260 canoes but then I think some of them are two men canoes so I don't know mm. it was just interesting it's a shame we're not going to see them all go past and then I walked a bit further and um, there's this apparently it's four acres of like solar panels by the side of the canal start. Okay, so an alarm just went off and we missed. <laughs> we kept recording. We actually had a domestic. <laughs> we had a full-on domestic. Long well, we're we're going to skip all that. We're not going to recreate that. It was yeah. just a minor domestic. Yeah, well, It wasn't about the alarm. It was 30 <laughs> minutes later as we were talking about things and we, were, we realized that like I'm responsible for everything and it's my fault. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> so we're back. <laughs> so yeah, it's well worth if you come down to the end of the Montgomery, oh, it's well worth coming on the Montgomery, it's well worth coming to the end, and it's well worth walking even further if you can, because they're doing really good work. Yeah, and definitely support the various canals, you know, sort of authorities involved. The as Shropshire well as Union as Canal Society. Shrop Shropshire. The Shropshire Union Canal Society, Bridge the Gap, probably the Carrot Canal and River Trust. Yeah, basically it's just... Even with some solar panels by the side of the canal, it's going to be a gorgeous thing and it's totally amazing that at any point in this world, at this day and age, with all of the problems going on and the various goofballs in charge, anybody anywhere on the planet is actually working to rebuild, you know, Victorian era industrial revolution technology and it's just great. Yeah. It's good for the ducks. It's good for us. It's good for the ducks. It's good for the walkers. And, and the ducks. And the ducks. So we are going back to Frankton Lots for 12 o'clock today. The kayakers are starting at 12, so we need to get going. So we're out of their way when they come through. And the whole domestic basically came down to us <laughs> disagreeing on why it was my fault that we had rescheduled the exit for tomorrow, tomorrow and we then had to reschedule it for this morning so we that we're actually going through today. We thought we might have a day down here, but we're not now. Yeah, and apparently we got confused over who was at that motivation. So, I see it, but it was mine. It was my fault. Totally me. Yeah. So, um, He's one being way or another, but it was. I'm not being sarcastic. I completely accept the fact that this was me. Totally me. <laughs> right. Yep. All my fault. Uh, it was. Yep. You're the one that changed the booking. Uh huh. Yep. Changed the booking. Anyway, um, <laughs> said, we said we're not going to have the domestic again, and we plainly did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we just get going? Yeah, because we don't want to be swamped by a bunch of canoes. So, let's go. Yeah, I'm not walking because I just walked for an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta take a break. And we've got nothing between us and the Aston Locks. Is it Aston? Aston, yeah. Aston Locks. So we've got nothing between us and three locks in a couple of miles. So, uh, yeah, should get him on. I'm not looking forward to dragging George under the boat, but we'll drag George under the boat and go.
We are back in Ellesmere. Very lucky to get this mooring. It's really full. There's moorings on the arm where we are, and before the arm, and after the arm. And the ones before were quite full. And the ones after are quite full. Could and the ones see? here are quite full. But just as I came down, there was this space, and I was like, well, that's weird. And then there was an ABC boat, hire boat, coming down the arm. And I was like, oh, they're going to take it. And then I thought, unless they've just left, yeah. gone to turn around. And I think that's what, what must that's have what happened. happened. Although it got kind of funny for me because Joe was texting me. So I'm coming up to the, the arm and then needing to make a choice and I get a text saying there's a spot so I go okay good and I commit to going in and then I'm already part way on the way in when she says but it may be taken by somebody else and I'm like damn I didn't get the okay come in text until after we'd already more time the next one was bear with oh yeah bear with. and I saw you I saw you waiting and I'm like well that's not bearing with is it yeah, I was waiting for the boat that was coming out the ABC boat like, that we I'm, think just left this spot so yeah feel very lucky to have found it yeah it was a good day. It was a tiring day for those of us that were out the boat at seven o'clock walking two miles to... <laughs> it was tiring for those of us who were in the boat cooking and cleaning. The kitchen. And luckily, the, uh, the bad weather that keeps sort of Thinking about. poking up it has stayed sort of vaguely that way. So there's this big black cloud, but it's been staying over in that direction. It may move in this direction soon enough, but it didn't actually swamp us. We just got a little drizzle today. So. Yeah, the Montgomery is so nice. And like, it is quiet. People say it's quiet and it is quiet. You only fully appreciate how quiet it is when you leave it, <laughs> turn back onto the Langothan. And immediately have to dodge a boat <laughs> shooting out from underneath the you know, a, bridge. A bridge. And then see like 10 more boats in the space of five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, the cruise this morning was lovely. Really lovely. It's a good canal. It's a long canal. There's two very long straightaways. Also, there are a lot of bugs. <laughs> like a really large amount of bugs. Mm. I think I have snorted more bug in the last couple of days than I care to think about. Like, you know, there's, there's just, there's bug up here. You know, I got bug. So yeah, yesterday when we went down, we arrived bang on 12 and immediately got into a queue of five boats. Today we arrived back on 12, prepared to get into a queue of five boats. Then and we just nobody. sailed straight through. I'm wondering if they opened it a little bit early, so because he had to get down to do the um, triathlon thing. No, quite possibly. So he might have opened it a bit early. But there was a volunteer working, and he helped us through the staircase, which was really nice. The duckies have arrived! We better get the duck food. Where's the duck food? Mm. I told you they'd be back. They are so hungry. I've been waiting for you. I think we recognized me from the last trip. That's enough. Yeah, you guys are well fed now. So, um. Just give me one more handful. I didn't see that. So, um, we did stop off briefly on the way back just at a junction. Do you know what it was called? I don't think that has a particular name. It's by. Where was, and where did it go? Oh, it was just a basin. Oh, okay. Yeah, we no. stopped off to have a look at a basin, but you can't go down there. So it wasn't very interesting. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, it's nice. It, it, it was there. It was functional. It's got an old British waterway sign up talking about how you can use the swing bridge. It's completely grown over. But it's completely grown over. And then all of the waterway from that part back is just completely chock Overgrown. full of plants. So yeah. there's no way you're getting through there. It's, yeah, it's interesting to see how quickly it gets reclaimed. Yeah. Yeah. So the Montgomery, done mm. it. Tick. Yep. Got our silver propeller. Got Tick. the Monty done. Well, we haven't got our silver propeller yet. We didn't do the full Monty. We didn't do the full Monty. Well, we did the part of the Monty that they allow us to do. We did the partial Monty. She did especially. She did more of the full Monty than I did. So yeah, back to Elmsmere. We're now going to go for a walk to the mirror at Elm. <laughs> yeah. Elms even. Elms. Well, it's, it's the Mirror of Elves. I keep calling it Elm, but it's Elm. Yeah, it's Elves Mirror, and we're yeah. going over to see Elves Mirror. Because when we were here before, it just rained, and then we didn't really get out, so... A mirror is a loch, or lake, but isn't a loch. It's a, a, a mirror. One thing I'll say about the Monty, there's no um, there's no shops down there. So last night it was the first night for, in ages that we didn't have any, like, sweet treats. Mm. So we're going to go to Tesco's. And get some sweet treats. There are some chocolates that are going to happen here. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Also, there's that sweet shop. We should check out and see if the sweet shop is open. It probably won't drops. be tomorrow. So, thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and would like to. And if you want some of those notifications, hit the bell. Or shake the duck food. Shaking the duck food shake might the work. Duck food. Hey.
It's working for the ducks. <laughs> All right, we should go. Um, sorry we're not very talkative. No, we are talkative. Sorry we're not making much sense of being very interesting today. We're too tired. And there's just too much duck food to give to little duckies. And the aeroplanes are too noisy. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Right, so, Take thanks away. for watching. Wait, 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 wait what wait, are the flags behind us? Can we identify those flags now? One of them is the Black Country flag, the bottom one with the chains. Yep, and the other one is one of the two roses. Yeah, which maybe it's Yorkshire? It? I'm pretty sure that's the York Rose. Tell us down below if we're wrong. Or tell us down below if we're right. Tell us down below if we should have flags on our boat. No. I'd like bunting. I might have a pirate flag. I might. But even that, I'm probably sure I wouldn't get a pirate flag. I'm not suggesting we get, like, your national flag. No, no national flags. We could get a signaling flag. Yeah. We could get, like, the signaling flags that you'd put up to say, like, this is the Admiral's ship and that sort of thing. Um, I so like we could raise one flag when I get on the back and lower it and then raise a different flag when you get on the back? <laughs> that sounds like a lot of work. Oh yeah, that's why we're not doing it. <laughs> okay, so thanks very much for watching. Let's Give us know, a thumbs up. Let us know what flags we should get. I totally screwed that up. George.